This recent rainstorm definitely set some records. Let's look at the National Weather Service and parse the data. Zooming in on downtown LA, we see that 8.13 inches of rain fell from Sunday to Tuesday as of 11 a.m. That much rain is bonkers. Downtown LA on average receives 14.25 inches of rain per year. So over just three days, downtown LA got more than half of its yearly average rainfall. More specifically, downtown LA got 2.93 inches of rain just on Monday, breaking a record that had been in place for 123 years. If we add in Sunday and look at a two-day rainfall count, for Sunday and Monday, downtown LA got 7.03 inches. This is the third wettest consecutive two-day total since official weather records began in 1877. That number is about an inch short of the current record. On December 31st, 1933 and January 1st, 1934, 7.9 inches of rain fell on downtown. This downpour caused the Crescenta Valley flood, which killed at least 45 people and destroyed roughly 100 homes. But jumping back to this current storm, downtown LA didn't get the most rain. We use it as a benchmark because that's where the oldest weather data set for LA exists, dating back to 1877. Looking at other places that got more rain with this current three-day storm, we see Cogswell Dam got 13.5 inches of rain. Bel Air got 12.32 inches of rain and Woodland Hills got 11.7 inches of rain. And in case you missed why we got all this rain in the first place, it's because an atmospheric river decided to stop and chill over the LA basin for a few days. Where did all this rainwater go? Well, a lot of it was whisked down to the ocean, but LA did capture some of it. My colleague Judah will dig into stormwater capture in a video later this week.